Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? Today, I'm going to look at Fundrise. So I've opened this account back in 2018. And like I said before, I've been investing about $100 a month into this. And it seems pretty good. It's not bad. Um, just want to take you through a little bit of this stuff here. You can see uh, projects, dividends... Uh, it wouldn't let me record it off of my phone. That's why I'm kind of trying to do this uh, kind of hokey recording on my cell phone. And we'll see how this works out. So let's look at the performance. You can see various funds have different performances over the years. But ultimately, we look down here at the annual returns. All time... 7.8%. So that's pretty good, actually. 8%. So that's like an 8 cap. I'd like to see a 10 cap, 10% 10 return overall for real estate. But, I mean, it's not bad because, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You just invest. It's like a REIT. So 8% is not bad overall. You can see the account value over time. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, here's the portfolio. The various REITs that you invest in over time, because some close and some open. And it gives you a list of the projects that you're involved in. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, over here, there's an allocation. I'm a growth and income, because uh, I want both. So there's some fixed income. Core plus, it's called value added and op opportunistic. Opportunistic. Can't say it. So let's look at the transactions. You can see... Got dividends that they pay on a normal basis, All right? You got normal investing that I do every month. So remember that hundred dollars a month. If you invest a hundred dollars a month in forty years, you'll be a millionaire. So yeah, I got started late in life. I mean, I started this account in 2018 with about 500 bucks. I think I added a couple of big chunks over time. But not many, it's mostly about a hundred bucks a month, right? And then dividend reinvestments. Oh, there's a big chunk I added. About a thousand bucks in October 2019. But overall, it's just little tiny increments. That's all you really need. And it's it's pretty good overall, right? You got balanced investing. Um, there's different account levels you can get. There's like basic, core. Uh, there's advanced you can get. I don't see a whole lot of advantages to the different accounts. Um, the core is probably pretty good. It's good enough. Um, you can come over here. You can add the funds. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I've been in there since 2019. You can invite a friend up here. So that's good. So see my link below if you guys want to get a part of this. That's pretty cool. You get all your documents and taxes. You can even set a goal if you want to. I never did that. Features, transactions I showed you, portfolio, performance. So overall, uh, this is a good way to add money to your account to build wealth over time. And it's better than just going and investing in real estate, right? You don't have to deal with tenants. You don't have to deal with all that. You don't get the leverage um, that you get with real estate. But for a REIT, it's not bad, right? You can go, always go with O, uh, which is a REIT, or NNN, which is another REIT. So it really depends what you want to do. I just wanted to try these guys out, have consistent investments over time. And you can see it's really paying off, right? I started back here 2018. Now I have over $6,000 in here in 2021. So over a span of three years, about six grand. You can see all-time returns, probably not that great, right? Dividends, appreciation, they do charge fees for this, just like any fund would, right? So not, not terrible, but not the best. So if you guys want more information, let me know. Um, and, uh, see my link below if you, uh, want to become part of this. All right, guys. 
Thanks for watching.